welcome to the channel if you're new, I'm Alicia, and today we're talking about fat bombs. No, not that kind of bomb. I'm talking about bombs of fat, keto bombs, and sometimes even fat fudge. I know fat bombs would typically sound like a not so healthy choice, but if you're on a keto diet and trying to incorporate more dietary fat and keep the ratio of fat to protein and carbs high, then fat bombs can help. Whether you're on the keto diet or not, we can all benefit from healthy dietary sources of fat, and it's gonna help keep you full longer. So fat bombs can be a great snack to prep and keep in your fridge or freezer for when you get hungry and just need a snack to hold you over. If you wanna learn more about the keto diet, check out my Keto 101 video and my how to get into ketosis fast video linked in the description. Today I'm sharing eight fat bombs total, five in this video, and you can download that free ebook with all of the recipes plus three more sweet and savory fat bombs. It's free using the link in the description. First up, berry fudge fat bombs. I start by blending together strawberries and blueberries, but you can use any berries you'd like. With any kind of nut butter, I went with almond butter, melted coconut oil, and sweetener of choice. Keep in mind, you'll want a low carb sweetener for keto, so something like stevia, erythritol, or monk fruit are popular options. You can use whatever you want, but just know the carbs will affect how much of a fat bomb it really is. I used a liquid sweetener in all of the sweet ones today since it integrates easily. It's a high fiber syrup, so the net carbs are very low. Not sponsored, but I will link it in the description. I also have a sweeteners video if you want help knowing which sweetener might be right for you. That gets blended and then distributed into silicone molds. Freeze. After a few hours, they're ready to pop out and enjoy. I keep them in the freezer and just take one out whenever I need, letting it thaw for a few minutes beforehand. They're rich like fudge, but melt in your mouth. So light, fruity, and almost like a PB&J in fudge form. Okay, let's alternate between sweet and savory fat bombs today, because both are totally possible and worth making. Sometimes we crave sweet, but sometimes salty. So why not? These are super easy. Everything bagel fat bombs. It's just a ball of whipped cream cheese rolled in everything but the bagel seasoning. You can use the one from Trader Joe's, of course, but you can also make your own using a mix of sesame and black sesame seeds, salt, minced garlic and onion, and poppy seeds. You may want to make your own anyways because the Trader Joe's one is quite salty, and if you do it yourself, then you're in control of the salt content. Boom, savory little bagel bites ready to go. Salty, creamy, and a nice sharp bite of cheese. These are of course best stored in the fridge and I recommend keeping them covered. FYI, you can also whip up dairy-free cream cheese variations for this. I have found that the almond milk-based cream cheeses whip up better than the coconut-based ones, but you can do what works for you. The next bomb is... <laughs> you diffused my first bomb, but you should know, I always bring it back up. Back up, huh? Speaking of backs, you better watch yours. No, 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 no. fat bombs, not real dynamite. <sighs> the next one is a classic sweet combo, white chocolate raspberry. Melt coconut oil and cacao butter in a saucepan or in the microwave until integrated. Mix in your sweetener and then pour into silicone molds and freeze for an hour or so to set. Then blend the raspberries into a puree and pour that on as a second layer on top of the first frozen white layer. With cacao butter, it's common for the sweetener to separate, so you can omit and just let these be naturally sweet and tangy from the raspberries, but it's up to you. Freeze again and you'll end up with these adorable two layer bombs of goodness. Rich from the cacao, but light and tart from the raspberries. And raspberries are a great lower carb berry too. Next, pizza fat bombs anyone? Wait, is this the right channel? FYI, I have another channel that I host with my boyfriend Christian that is all about pizza. Heads up, it is not healthy. And if you're enjoying these recipes, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell to be notified of new recipes and videos each week. For pizza fat bombs, I combine whipped cream cheese, diced pepperoni, Parmesan, diced olives, sun-dried tomatoes, and basil. I make those into little balls. I mix together hemp hearts and Parmesan and roll the pizza cream cheese balls into that coating. Oh man, talk about a bite of savory goodness. It legit tastes like a pizza. The olives, pepperoni, and cream cheese all give it a lovely salty bite, balanced by the acidity of the tomatoes and freshness of the basil. The hemp seed coating also adds a nice contrast and texture. 
so fun. The last bomb of the day is Okay, for the last one, we had to have some chocolate before the video was over. Chocolate peppermint fat bombs. I melt and mix together coconut oil and dark chocolate. Make sure it's 100% dark for no sugar or carbs if needed. That gets frozen as my first layer. Then for the second layer, I melt coconut butter, coconut oil, and sweetener together and stir in some peppermint extract. It goes on top of the chocolate and boom! So adorable. If you wanted to get creative, you could also do three layers. There's no right or wrong here. And you can really use any molds for all of these too. Peppermint and chocolate is a classic combination. I think we saved the best for last. These are super chocolatey. And remember, it's not as sweet because it's so dark. So if you don't like a super dark chocolate, then definitely add sweetener. It's like a chocolate peppermint patty kicked up a notch. It's rich, decadent, and totally satisfying for that dessert craving. And those are your fat bomb recipes for today. If you want three more, including my chocolate almond sea salt and coconut lime sweet fat bombs, as well as my, uh, say what, crab salad fat bombs, go ahead and download the free ebook using the link in the description box. I appreciate you all being here. Thanks for tuning in every single week. It really means so much to me. I'll see you next week. And remember, it's all a matter of mind over munch. <laughs>